Ranch Radio Network. We're here at the Kansas State Fair, and this week I've been able to talk to so many great 4-H and FFA students about their projects that they're exhibiting here at the State Fair. Three students from Pottawatomie County have each excelled in their senior showmanship classes. During a showmanship class, a judge will look at things like personal appearance, proper show attire, cleanliness, and attitude, plus interest in their projects, presentation of the animal, like leading, posing, responding to directions correctly, and the proper use of their equipment. And finally, preparation of the animal, like condition, cleanliness, and grooming or clipping. Over in the goat barn, Kara Riffle claims the title of goat senior showmanship champion. She explains that it takes a lot of hard work, not just the day of the show. Uh, it takes a lot of practice and like the hours at home and I spent a lot of hours in the barn this summer just like working and setting them up and making sure they hold their brace the whole time and it takes like a lot of intense looks and I've had like pe people in the past like previous tell me I look like I want to hurt someone whenever I like do showmanship and so I guess that's kind of like a compliment. Well I've been around them literally ever since I was born because my oldest brother uh, got them when he was first starting out, so I've been around them my whole life. I've been able to show at the State Fair since I was nine, but so six or seven years here. Kara credits the help of her family and fellow showmen to help her get to this point. Uh, my mom's one of the biggest people because she's always out there in the barn with me, like telling me what I can do better on my showmanship skills and like just critiquing me. And then also my friends and like other members of my family and also other members from 4-H that I've met around the state. Also a member of Pottawatomie County 4-H is James Derushi. He was able to excel with his hog projects at the Kansas State Fair. James told Kansas Kansas Farm and Ranch Radio about a few of his accomplishments that he received at the Kansas State Fair, plus all of the preparation that it took. So this year at the Kansas State Fair, I was named the champion senior swine showman, as well as I had the reserve champion market hog. So it took a lot of preparation to get to this point. We got most of these pigs back in March, and so we've been working through them throughout the spring and summer to help get them ready for this show. And it, you know, it takes a lot of work to get them to be able to drive as well as we want them to, to teach them to drive with their heads up and to get them used to being with humans. And especially the last couple of weeks, we work on trying to get them fed correctly so that we can max out their potential. And also it takes a lot of preparation to get their skin and hair ready for a big show. James has been showing hogs most of his life, and he credits much of his success to his family. I've been showing since I was in second grade. It was when I started 4-H, but I've been showing since, I was be since I've been barely able to walk. My dad helps put on the Kansas Swine Classic in Manhattan, and they have a little peewee. And I, ever since I was one years old, I've been showing pigs in that ring. So my dad and grandpa are the ones that helped me the most, I believe. And uh, my, my dad puts in so much work and effort to help us get ready for this and help me and my siblings. You know, he help, he does so, he has, you know, he's one of those people that I look up to for how hard he works and different things. My grandpa is just one of those guys that is, is always have fun, fun phone calls, talking about the pigs and how different things are going on. And those are two people I will very look up to. Our final senior showmanship champion, Eva Hendrickson, was able to bring her beef project to the Kansas State Fair and succeed. Eva tells us exactly how much this accomplishment means to her. So Friday night, I was the senior beef champion showman, and um, that was just kind of accomplishment that I've been working really hard for. So I've been showing cattle since I was about six years old, so I've had a lot of experience and I've shown all across the country and even when I was just first starting out when I was six my parents always made me do showmanship so I think that's really made me better even today and I work every single day with my heifers um, I get up and rinse them in the morning and I set them up on the way to the wash rack set them up on the way back to their pens and then at night I, when I lead them out to their pens outside I set them up again so it's just constantly getting them in the habit of um, me using the show stick on them and them getting in the habit of where to place their feet. There's a lot of work that goes in at home. I mean, there's early mornings and really late nights in the barn. And just like the other 4-Hers, family and friends have played a big role in making sure that Eva's beef project succeeds. Uh, my parents have really taught me a lot and also I have a big brother and he's, um, I've always kind of looked up to him and he's accomplished a lot himself so I've always kind of strived to be like him. Our champion senior showmen all had a little bit of advice for 4-Hers who will one day fill their shoes. Uh, always like try your best and like sometimes it's not going to like go the way you want at the beginning because like I know sometimes when I was like younger I was like really confused on what I was doing and I was like just a little happy five-year-old just walking around with my goats 
And like always, don't be afraid to ask questions. I know I've had a lot of older people as I was growing up who I could like look to for like mentorship. And it always just takes trial and error and just always working your best to like compete and like work to your goal. I'd say the Swine Project is a very neat project that teaches you many life skills. You know, it's something that you have to learn to you have to really enjoy the project and you learn many life skills as you like getting up early before school to do chores, and teaching you to be hardworking. And I think it's just a great project that you can learn so much about different industries and you meet a lot of great friends along the way. Some advice that I would give a younger member would just to be watch the older members. When I was a junior and seniors would go before me, I'd always go up to the ring and watch the seniors in the ring and pick up on the little things that they did that would set me apart against the juniors or that would just kind of give me an advantage. For more reports from the Kansas State Fair, make sure to head on over to our website, KansasFarmAndRanchRadio.com, and check us out on Facebook, Kansas Farm and Ranch Radio. For Kansas Farm and Ranch Radio, I'm Sarah Miles.